Many southern Louisiana residents are evacuating it towards Natchitoches. That's right, NBC 6 of City Simone joins us now live there sharing more details. City, good evening. Good evening, Dan, Jackie. We spoke with a few families who say they aren't too concerned about the storm, but as you can see, the rain is constantly coming down and it actually picked up just a bit here not too long ago. We haven't came across any flooded areas yet, but I'm sure we will just a little bit later. Um, the Natchitoches Fire Department says Highway 120 and I-49 is an area that uh, will have severe flooding, so be on the watch out for that. The fire department says the category of the storm Delta downsized and not many people are evacuating like they did for Laura. For those who plan to stay, you should be cautious of where to plug in your backup generators, preferably outside the home and away from windows. You know, we had several deaths related to Laura with carbon monoxide, and we want to avoid that if all possible. And uh, be sure that they don't fill their generators while they're hot. Uh, let them cool off a minute before they do that. We don't want anybody getting hurt from that. We didn't want to have to drive too far at night, so we just came up here and we figured if it stayed on the track, we would just stay here, and otherwise, if it moved closer to us, we'd go over to Texas. Swift Coast says residents should expect the power to be out for several days. For people using emergency life support equipment, they should make arrangements for power outages. And we noticed some people still out on the roads, and the fire department says that if you have any Stay away from the flooded areas. Live here in Natchitoches, Sydney Simone, NBC6 News. Back to you, Danny Jackson. All right, thank you very much, Sydney.